if they've got cancer, how do you, how do you, what do you tell the patient what do they have to do? Take it out? Yeah, if it's malignant, we will recommend that the thyroid be removed surgically because even if it's a slow growing thing, it's right there next to your breathing tube, right next to your swallowing tube. And if it eats into that, it could cause big trouble. Big trouble. It's, e it's such a safe procedure to get it removed in the hands of an experienced thyroid surgeon. And I hasten to add that. A lot of important things in the neck and you don't want a rookie going in there. You want to do it right the first time. So we're real particular about who operates on our patients. But in the hands of a good thyroid surgeon, it's a 23 hour overnight stay. Now, they're going, you've got a nodule about the size of a pea, most of them are? No, most of them be the size of a grape. About a grape. Maybe sorry. even the size of a hickory nut. So do you, oh wow, so that's bigger. So you have to take out the whole thyroid gland? Yeah, because even though you have the one larger nodule that brings it to medical attention, frequently with thyroid cancer, there's all kinds of other little cancers, kind of like seedlings, yeah. that are growing all over the gland. And so it's much safer to try and remove vast majority of the gland surgically. So if a patient doesn't have a thyroid gland, they're in trouble, aren't they? Not at all. Because thank the Lord, you don't need a thyroid. The body can't tell, couldn't care less where thyroid hormone comes from. All it cares is that it's there. And we got thyroid hormone by the bucketfuls. Comes in a little pill, just take one a day, it's dirt cheap, and it has zero side effects, assuming the dose is adjusted right, and we're supposed to know how to do that. Yeah, so you can replace it with a tablet. Absolutely, you can live a totally normal life in every sense of the term with no thyroid gland at all. All you gotta have is the hormone. 